Auburn at Mississippi State. Mississippi State is a 13-point favorite at home in Starkville. 51.5 is the total over at BetUS. And this one, a 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time game on ESPN2. Let's go ahead and pull up the numbers here. And, whoo, uh, I've got Mississippi State minus 14.4 in this spot. Very interesting. Auburn's defense is pretty good against the pass. However, you look at how often they're having to face the pass. Only 34% of the time because they are putrid against the run. Number 124 PPA per rush on defense. Number 127 in rushing success rate allowed. And teams are running against them over 65% of the time. Mississippi State's actually pretty good at running the football. They're number 19 PPA per rush, number 19 success rate, but they're only running the ball 32% of the time. I would expect that they are probably going to try a little more at running the football this week if they are able to have any kind of an advantage in that spot. Uh, you look at the defense here for Mississippi State, and I know Harson was just fired. Maybe this is a dead cat bounce kind of thing. Cadillac Williams is going to be the interim coach. What we've seen from Auburn may not be what we get, right? That's certainly something to pay attention to, but, you know, are there any, is there anybody at Mississippi State as far as the players on the field that cares anything about John Cohen leaving State to go to Auburn? If so, you use that for a little extra motivation. The game is in Starkville, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You look at State's defense, and the explosive play is where Auburn can find a way to get them. Uh, Auburn is not great at, at really anything, but I will tell you what they what they are pretty good at, rushing explosiveness on offense for Auburn, number 25, and Mississippi State, number 79 in that spot. Uh, passing explosiveness. Auburn's offense is number 27 in that spot, and Mississippi State's defense is number 127. You can find holes in that defense, and you can find big plays, and I think that's what Robbie Ashford and Bunch are going to have to rely on is finding the big plays because they aren't super successful doing anything else, right? You look at the uh, overall offensive success rate for Auburn, and it's number 110. Um, You look at defensive success rate for Mississippi State, and it's number 62. So I I would expect we're going to see Mississippi State keep the ball a little longer, try and run the ball, some short passes, et cetera, uh, and – Auburn is just going to have to hit big plays. It's kind of exactly what they did against Ole Miss, where they hit these monster plays and were able to score off of them. I don't think it's going to be enough this week. I I don't think that Eric Esau is there to try and uh, scheme some of this stuff. I I think this offense is going to have some problems, uh, which they've already had problems, but I think they're going to have even more than they already had. I believe that I'm going to ride with Mississippi State this week. I know this line has crawled up significantly, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to take State to cover the 13 here. It's under two touchdowns. My line is closer to 15 than it is to 13. Uh, yeah, give me, give me Mississippi State here. I think when they play at home, they are a different beast. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.